Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET Core web application how to set the custom default reset page. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET Core web application. Go to File, New, Project. I am selecting the ASP.NET Core Web Application. Click Next. Let's give the project name Default Page Set Razor, Razor Core. Is my project name. Click Create. And I'm selecting the template web application which contains some Razor pages and the version I'm using ASP.NET Core 3.0. Click Create. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. First, we'll run this application. We'll check the what is the default web page for this application. Browse with. I'm selecting the browser Google Chrome set as default click browse. And here we got the default output of the application, which is an index razor page. If I type forward slash index, type enter, see? We got the same output. So now my aim is I want to set my own default custom razor page for this application. Switch over to our coding part, open solution explorer. Notice in the project there is a pages folder which contains all the web pages. Now let's add our own page. I click the pages folder. Add razor page. I am selecting the razor page the option click add. Let's give the razor page name is the home. I want to make this home page is a default home page for this application. Click add. Razor page home page is my default page of this project. Now let's set this home page to our default web page for this application. For that open solution explorer. In the project there is a startup.cs file. Open that file. Now let's add the services in this configure services method. So the services are services dot add MVC method dot uh, let's add the add razor page options 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 dot conventions dot add add page route method. This add page route method takes two parameters both are string the page name and route. Here the page name is our home.css channel page. So make sure you do the forward slash add the home comma and the second parameter is also a string parameter which I am giving empty. And with the semicolon. That's it. Now let's save this file. Now let's browse the project again. Browse with. I'm selecting the browser Google Chrome set as default. Click browse. See here we got a new output with some errors. The requested matched multiple endpoints. 
we notice here the forward slash hem and the index so to fix this we must delete the index.cshtml file from our project because now our default page is the home.cshtml so let's delete that one delete so after I delete the index.cshtml page let's save this application now we'll reload the browser again and here we got a new output of the application the home page is my default page of this project let's check again this is a home see that's it